Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a review on this Ion coffee mug. It keeps your coffee warm for three hours. It's got a battery inside. You got to charge it. It's 12 ounces. It's part number 7558. You can get it at Walmart for 40 bucks. This is the bronze color, but it comes in black and white. So it comes in this really big box. Kind of makes you think it's a little bit bigger than it is, but it's actually pretty small. So it does come with this lid. Again, that's only 12 ounces. And it says that's stainless steel. You know, the lid fits on there okay. It's not spill proof. It just kind of snaps on there a little bit. And you can turn that. Uh, but down here, there's so here's the big one. You gotta take the sticker off first. That's gonna reveal the power switch and the charging connections. Now this thing did not come with much charge, so you're gonna you're gonna have to charge it, and this is the charging base. So it's got this kind of plug-in. It's just a standard plug-in AC adapter. You're gonna plug this into the wall. Okay, so I've got it plugged in. So there's these two little connections. That's what's gonna transfer the power to here to charge this. There's a battery inside here. This none of this comes apart. That's just a power switch. Again, this is part number 7558. So when I first put it on there, okay, so when you first put it on there, your light's gonna be red. I charged mine last night, and it took about five, almost six hours to get it fully charged. That's the charge indicator right there saying it's charged. And then this is just flashing, letting you know it's in standby. That's gonna change to a temperature. So we take it off the charger, there's the power button. So we press the power button. It's not too hard. That's the first temperature it'll maintain. 135, 140, 145, and off. So you just cycle the power button until you get the temperature you want, and then you can turn it back off. Okay, so if you want to turn the, the mug off, you got to hold the button for three seconds. And those lights will stop flashing. Now the mug is off. And to turn it back on, hold it for three seconds, it's gonna start flashing. And then you gotta hit the power button one more time to go to temperature, 35, 40. That's standby mode, and then press the button again, that's off. Now, when even though I turned it off, when you put it back on the charger, it kinda of turns itself back into standby mode and turns the charge light on. So here it talks about if that red light starts flashing, it says the battery's low and the mug needs to be recharged. So it talks about the heating mode will automatically shut off after three hours. And it talks about it can only keep your coffee. So it, it says all day, but in the manual it says it can only keep it hot for three hours. So of course this is, this is gonna be a hand wash only item. They, they don't want this um, in the dishwasher or submersing it under water. And the warning says do not microwave. Do not microwave and do not wash in the dishwasher. Okay, so let's brew a coffee into it. I'm not sure whether, to, I'm gonna turn it on first. So let's go 135. It's flashing 135. And again, it's only 12 ounces. So that, that's not too bad. I normally brew my coffees in a Keurig machine at eight ounces. Okay, so I brewed a cup of coffee in here. Let's see what temperature we're gonna start out with. Usually. So around 165, yeah, that's what I was suspecting. 170, so that's starting out as a really hot cup of coffee. So it looks like it might have shut off while I while it brewed that cup of coffee. Yeah. So I guess you gotta turn it on after. There. Let's go to the highest setting, 145. So you gotta turn it on after your coffee's in there, which can be a little tricky. Definitely put the, the lid on. It's got a hole. Okay, so this is just flashing 145 at me. So it says blinking temperature means heating is in progress. The temperature has not arrived at the selected temperature. When the blinking stops, the heating process is completed. 
Okay, so it's been about a minute. It's still blinking. I'm going to time it how long it takes to get the temperature. So it does say, it says when the coaster, when using the coaster with the mug and setting the temperature, the coaster heats the liquid in the mug, meanwhile charging the battery inside the mug. So it sounds like we can place it on the coaster and it'll charge it and heat it at the same time. But then there's this, I'm a little confused because there's this warning on the side. Do not charge and discharge at the same time. Hmm. I'm not sure what that warning's about. So again, it's still blinking. It's been about two minutes. I thought it would have been a little quicker than that. So it's been about three minutes. The coffee's cooled off to about 162. And again, it's still flashing. So I, I put it on the, the uh, charging station. It's still flashing, but it, at least it does show the green charging light. So it does pretend like it's charging it. Okay, so it, it says it's got a two to three hour heating performance off the coaster. So maybe it can keep your coffee warmer if it's on the if it's on the charger, it can keep it warmer longer. And again, the side of the box says the mug recharges when placed on charging coaster. So it's been about five minutes. It's still flashing. And we're, we've cooled off to about 158. So here it is on the Walmart website. Again, it comes in three colors. They normally have a bunch of these in stock at the store. Miss Fiona likes to help with the reviews. I think she wants to go outside though. Okay, so the coffee's cooling off pretty quick. I wonder, so we're at 152. I wonder if it's gotta get down to, it's gonna maintain 145. That's why it's still flashing. It hasn't had to do any work yet. So we put 170 degree coffee in there. The coffee's cooling down. And then uh, when it gets to be 145, it'll, it'll keep it nice and warm, I guess. Okay, so as I suspected, it's been about 10 minutes. So the coffee cooled down to 145. So it's at 147. So now the light went steady. That means, so it's not gonna keep your coffee um, 170. It's only going to keep it 145. So we're 145. Let's see if it can. I'm going to time this and see how long it takes. So I've been tasting this. So 145 coffee. It's it's still really hot. You have to sip it. Um, but uh, it's not 170. But it is still really hot. So 145 is still pretty hot. But it's it, you know it's easier to drink of course when it's cooled off a little bit. And again, while I've been drinking this, it's the light has went steady. It's been staying on. And I'm not seeing a change. I am seeing it kind of maintain. So there's 144, 145. Okay, so back to the mug. It's been about 20 minutes. I've, and I'm actually leaving the cover off. I really want to put this thing through the works. So it is maintaining. Once it got to that 145, it is maintaining 145 in that entire cup. Um, that's pretty impressive so far. Again, it cooled down pretty quick, about 10 minutes. You start off at 170, it got to 145. The 145 is still lit. And it's maintaining that, even with the lid off. Back to the mug. The display still says 145. It's been an hour. It's been one hour. I am very impressed with this. get it so you can see it is not wavered off 145 it says 144 but that's pretty much where it's stayed what look at that 145 almost identical like I said it's been an hour I've drank a little bit out of it um, I've been stirring it I've left the cap off even I thought you know I'm really gonna put this to the test so that's been an hour now one thing I wanted to show you the mug gets a little warm kind of in the center area all the way around it but nothing too bad I you know if your hands were cold and you could warm your hands up really nice. So it's it's just warm to the touch, not hot. But it's definitely keeping your hot your coffee hot.
so I'm in the middle of doing another video, but I've been keeping an eye on this at the about. So I had this at the at the 145 mark, and about the hour and a half is when it it shut down. Um, it must have got a low battery or something, but now my coffee is cooling off. So about the hour and a half mark at 145. Again, I'm not sure why it sh shut down. Maybe the batteries. So I'm gonna. So yeah, there's 145. Okay, yeah, the, see the red light is flashing. So the battery got low. So this, I did not get the full three hours. Maybe that's at the lower setting. So at 145, I got about half, about an hour and a half. Now I did keep the cover off. I was drinking it. I was stirring it. I, I was pretty rough on this as far as keeping that temperature warm. So again, with that lid on there, um, it might've worked a little bit better. And again, this was just the coffee maker sitting off by itself. So it had to use that internal batter, battery completely. Now, if I would have kept it on the saucer, the charging stand with it plugged in, um, it, def it says it would have kept it warm all day because it would have kept the battery charged and warmed the coffee. So that's, I wanted to show you this. So this is, um, you can plug this in either way because that's kind of a big deal with that sticking down. So these are not polarized. And it says it's output is 19 volts at two amps. Input is 100 to 200 volts, 240 volts, 50 to 60 hertz, 0.8 amps. Okay, so this thing, we, we saw the battery run down and temperature dropped to about 130. So I thought I'd play around and I put it back on the charger. And you can see the charging light is on. Now, when I first put it on the charger, the 140 was flashing, meaning it wasn't at 145. But what was really impressive, so after about five, 10 minutes, it actually brought it back up to temperature. That's pretty impressive. I didn't think it had enough power to do that, but with it on the charger, it had enough power to bring it back up to temperature. Um, I'm very impressed with this thing. You know, granted it only lasted an hour and a half on the on the battery, but at least I could put it back on this and now it's going to maintain and charge that at the same time. Yep, I'm very impressed. So I'm going to give this my Just a Dad sticker seal of approval. Very nice coffee mug. It feels nice in the hand. Um, yeah, I was, I was a little skeptical at first. There's quite a few of these on the market. Um, a lot of them go for over $100. Again, $40 from Walmart. Very, very impressive. Thanks everybody for watching. If you could, please like and subscribe.